This wedding had a $7,800 floral budget. I wanted to see how it compared to a lot of cheaper options that are much more affordable for a lot of other people. And that includes free, the cheapest thing I could find online, grocery store option, my own wedding florals, which were not that expensive, and of course, the $7,800 wedding budget. But first, my name is Katie Sauter. I'm a wedding planner and I am not a florist. Let's first and foremost, Get that out of your head, I am not a florist. I don't touch florals. So if I make any arrangements in this video, which I will, don't judge me, please. If you are planning your wedding, don't forget that I have a free wedding planning timeline linked in the description below. It will help you if you are not and you're just here for the fun. Well, welcome to my dojo. Don't forget to snuggle up to that like button and smoosh that subscribe button. Keep it PG for me as always, okay? So let's check out the free option. I guess free is relative in this circumstance, but you need scissors, right? That costs something. And then you need to go out into the world. Don't steal from your neighbors. I was tempted to for this video. I have a very sad garden right now. So I'm, I actually used to be very good at gardening, but like now all I have as an option are potted plants. And apparently I tend to kill potted plants. So my free option will look different from your free option. So keep that in mind. My free option is kind of sad and not ideal. Any florist would be able to tell you that. All right, so here's my garden. And uh, yeah, it's not, it's not great. I mean, I've got, I've got some color. It's, um, it's something, right? Like, look at that. Like the yellow is good, right? And I'm, but yeah, a few things died when we went on our honeymoon or at least partially died. And now I just, don't know what to do but I have some hibiscus and I am going to show you yeah it's a sad garden <laughs> so it's a sad garden I'm not gonna lie it's not very good I'm I it kind of died on my honeymoon so we're just kind of at that phase where we're mourning the loss of the plant at least to how pretty they used to be so I don't have very much choice here so you could get creative if you were like oh all i have is begonias you could probably get creative but they don't have very long stems so i wouldn't recommend that like you could probably cut a bunch of this and then turn that into a vase i'm not gonna do that because that's all i have left sad so i am instead going to clip from this hibiscus all right, we're back inside. Now I did, I know how a lot of people feel about Timu. Again, this is not sponsored. I was just like, what is the cheapest thing I could find? And it was, it was Timu. I'm sorry. I know it's like an evil corporation or something, but it was the thing I found. So let's check out this box. Not a box. It's a bag. It's a bag. Anyway, words are hard. And um, I am already impressed to look at this thing smoking out of the, of the bag. All right, let's open it up. I just realized I have scissors. I am already not super impressed because online it looked a lot bigger. All right, now I'm gonna see if I can make this better. All right, so I spread it out a bit and um, it looks pretty nice like, uh, like that, but the moment it's sideways, I mean, you need ribbon anyway because this isn't gonna work. You, you need some ribbon. So it's not necessarily the 358 that I spent on this, but I mean, $3.58, you know, if that's all you got, that's all you got, this will work. But I would say, I'm say I'm not impressed. Let's move on. The next option is from the grocery store. Now I did have to cut these um, just to get them to fit in the vase really nice, but this is already like a huge, huge step above the Timu option and the free option. I mean, the, the free option at least like, I mean, from my garden, unimpressive, but I think if it was from your garden, like that it might be a lot better than mine. I hope that your plants are faring better than mine. But yeah, it's like, it's really pretty. They're they're very lovely. I, I really um, enjoy the colors here. I mean, I picked these also because I liked the colors. I think that this is really a step above. And if you wanted to spend more than the $9.99, or we'll just round up to $10 that I spent on the flowers, then I would suggest that this could be like, you could get two of them and turn that into a wedding bouquet. And then you could get each one of them 
each for your bridesmaids. And the boutonnieres, you'd have to get a little more creative because these flowers are huge for a boutonniere, which might be fun, actually. That's an idea. I am not a florist. Again, I'm gonna repeat that. I'm not a florist, I'm a wedding planner. And speaking of wedding planning, I do have a free wedding planning timeline linked in the description below. Check it out, it tells you when to get your florals. But yeah, if you're gonna DIY all this stuff, then you definitely wanna get that done like the day before. <laughs> so keep that in mind. You could definitely do better than this. I just went to the grocery store because I needed groceries actually. And yeah, I liked this color palette. I think like the baby blue with the, the pink is quite nice. And you know, a little hint of yellow and the daisies. We're gonna go with daisies. Um, again, not a florist. Also keep in mind that there's some grocery stores that sell them wholesale, like really cheap, like Costco. And also I know Trader Joe's has really beautiful flowers where you can buy them by like the type of flowers if you wanna do it really creative and specific. We definitely recommend that at least if you're really tight on budget. Just keep in mind that you will need at least the day before to make sure that they're all good and then a refrigerator to keep the flowers and try to keep them fresh if you're doing centerpieces. All right, now let's talk about my own wedding florals. So I did one bouquet, four boutonnieres, and two corsages. And I went to a professional florist for this. It was about $526 and six cents. That's not an about, it is that amount. And ooh, that rhymed. <laughs> but it was, I also added on $379.49 for full florals for like the sweetheart table and my aisle bouquet. Let me go get my aisle bouquet. I'm back. All right, so so these were actually 10 separate bouquets and afterwards I turned them into one. Um, and I got really creative with the color as you can see. Um, and it turned out really nice. I'll put some uh, photos up there. I mean, they are faux, but this is what I could afford. So keep in mind that that 379.49 does include the chiffon ribbon. I just have the total involved. But yeah, these were just on the, the aisle. So I've gained the interest of a cat. Um, I definitely don't want, I don't want her interest in this. And so I got these actually from Ling's Moment. This is not a sponsored video. Again, I don't have sponsors, um, not yet, not yet. So with that in mind, I spent closer to about $905.55 for a combination of real florals and faux florals. All right, now here's the big moment. We're getting into the $7,800 wedding. This is some behind the scenes action of actual coordination happening. Are you excited? I'm excited, we're gonna go into it. This venue was stunning. It was an estate in West Virginia, which set the entire scene for such gorgeous florals already. All right, it's wedding day. I feel like a pack mule. Car coming. Yeah, so there's going to be um, an incredible florist, and which is what I'm going to show you. And so the florals are $8,000. And uh, this is West Virginia. So, you know, keep that in mind. This is an absolutely beautiful venue, and I know I'm so sorry I'm a shaky hand, but like, we make do with what we got, and I ain't rich, so I don't got the nice stuff, you know, but hey, we're here, it's beautiful. So there are 16 table centerpieces that they're making. There's aisle decor um, and altar decor as well that they're setting up, um, in addition to the boutonnieres, corsages, and bouquets. So there's a lot of floral elements that are all getting tied together. There's a cup coming. So that's, that's where it's at right now. When I entered, the florist team was already working away. They already had the bouquets made. They already had the corsages, the boutonnieres, the uh, floral petal bags for uh, both the flower girls and then for the guests at the grand exit to throw the flower petals at the end. This florist, Good Sun Florals in West Virginia, shout out, wow, Lydia is amazing. They used a combination of ferns, moss, and even fungus, which was super cool <laughs> in my opinion. I don't, I don't see fungus very often, but it gave like this wonderful kind of enchanted forest vibe. And you could even incorporate this on your own at a much cheaper rate, but it would be like probably porcini mushrooms, which I don't really, I, you can get dried mushrooms and make them look pretty cool if you wanted to, you could get creative that way. But they were, when I entered, they were working on all the other details, getting everything ready to go. They had staff that were doing all of the centerpieces. They were making like the pieces that went on the, the this welcome mirror. And they were also doing several pieces for the altar and the aisle. Suddenly it was all done. All the tables were set. The guests were starting to arrive and it was time to start 
keeping track of the couple and the wedding party. So I'm approaching the ceremony site and it's almost done, but it's, it's, it's really beautiful out. And um, I am just, I really hope it doesn't rain some. There's a lot of scattered showers. So, uh, all right, we'll find out though. We'll see how it goes. I'll update at the end of this. Um, but what's so pretty, um, you can see like, there's this beautiful estate, uh, the reception hall, like it's really beautiful inside. It doesn't look very impressive here, but like they have, ooh, it's focusing on my finger. They, they have all these like string lights at the top. So, but wow, look at this. Look at how beautiful these flower arrangements are. I mean, this is just so gorgeous. This framing and I'm, these are incredibly beautiful flowers and some unique flowers too. I'm not, I'm not even sure what that is, um, but I am also not a botanist. <laughs> so yeah, I do my best. <laughs> but look at this beautiful altar and then the glass, well, the plastic, um, invisible they're supposed to be invisible it looks like this one unfortunately it is a hot day but um look at these arrangements and this incredibly beautiful altar oh this is gonna be perfect i hope it stays this weather and it's a bit hot but uh i didn't film an update afterwards however i do want to let you know that it did not rain. It did not rain on that couple. Thank goodness. We were we were so happy with that. And um, I know like several people when I mentioned it was in West Virginia, they immediately went country roads, take me home. And I was like, I, I don't even really know you, <laughs> but okay, we can sing country roads together. And you know what's funny? That was like their final song. <laughs> it's like so classic West Virginia. West Virginia is beautiful, I've gotta say, but. Yeah, wow. So don't forget to check out my free wedding planning timeline linked in the description below if you are planning your wedding. And regardless, you should check out some of my other videos here.